This lecture is about presentation aids and how to use them effectively. First, we'll talk about using presentation software. You want to focus on your speech and always remember that PowerPoints, they're just an aid. It's not a replacement for your presentation. It's just there to help your audience have a visual aid for what you're talking about. First, you'll need to develop a plan. That will begin with your speaking outline. Next, you will consider which points you want that will have visual aids. It's important to know how many slides you'll need and you'll want to determine how to arrange those slides effectively. One thing that you want to be careful of is avoiding copyright infringement. So you need to be aware of audiovisual copyright restrictions and also know when fair use provisions apply. If you're not sure if the image that you're going to use is copyrighted, you should not use it. Always cite your sources when you're using material, and you can consult the school's IT technology office if you need assistance. All of this will help you avoid serious consequences and in getting into trouble for using things improperly. Next, designing presentations. You wanna keep your design simple. Don't have a lot of text on your slide because that can become very distracting for your audience. You need to follow the six by six rule. Limit to six words per line. Limit to six lines per slide. You'll also want to use your design elements consistently. First of all, follow consistent design decisions for your presentation aid because consistency helps prevent distraction. You want your audience to pay attention to what you have to say without being distracted by your PowerPoint presentation. By using consistent design elements in each aid, you will help your audience follow you as opposed to being confused by your PowerPoint presentation. Select appropriate fonts. The typeface should be specific in its type of lettering. So there's many fonts and point sizes that can be used, but there are two major categories. One is serif, and that includes small flourishes. Sans serif is more block-like or linear. And then of course, boldface, underlining and italics, but be careful to use those very sparingly. If you use those all of the time, it won't make an emphasis on the words that you really want emphasized. So be careful when you use those. Use your color very carefully. If used effectively, color can do a lot of things. It can set the mood for your presentation. It can make things a lot easier to see. But if you have poor color choices, it can set the wrong mood. It can make your images seem unattractive and it also can make them illegible. It's really hard to read certain things. Speaking with presentations. Presentation aids have many benefits. They can help your listeners process and keep the information that you're sharing with them. They can help convey information in a time-saving fashion. They can enhance an image of professionalism if done correctly. They also can spark interest. The bottom line is they can make a speech. So be sure to select an appropriate aid for your presentation. There are many different types of presentation aids. You can have objects or models, pictures, graphs or charts, audio, video, multimedia. 
All of these are effective methods that should help your listeners to grasp the information that you're trying to share with them, help them retain it, and remember the presentation that you gave.